What's up guys, Gilberto Torres Jr. with Rise of Liberty and I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to take some time here to talk about Greg Anderson and Greg Anderson is a, is a special forces veteran and current police officer and basically what happened is that uh, Greg Anderson comes out with a video not too long ago and it's in regards to these uh, restrictions, these ordinances that have been enacted in response to the coronavirus outbreak and how some of these are really, you know, borderline violating our rights, if not violating our rights. And basically what Greg Anderson does is uh, call on other law enforcement officials to not carry out these orders, to think twice about carrying them out because they are trampling on people's rights. And he goes on to say how people have rights and we have a constitution that we have to defend and uphold and how anyone in law enforcement should really be careful and consider, um, you know, enforcing these uh, orders by, you know, bureaucrats or whoever, um, because, you know, they, they are in violation of our constitutional rights. And so Greg Anderson, uh, you know, among other things, talks about how if people continue to enforce these heavy restrictions that they could very well wake up a sleeping giant. And who is that sleeping giant? That's a spirit of defiance in the American people. And this is a, this, the same spirit of defiance that was found in the American revolutionaries when the king came to confiscate, you know, their gunpowder, their guns. And you know, they resisted. They said, no, you know, you, you keep on trampling on our rights and we're not going to allow this. And you all know what happened. The American Revolution started. So the, these are the same things that could happen in today's times. You know, over 200 years later, we have a government that is overreaching. We have a government that is trampling on our rights and people do have a right to defend themselves. And it reminds me of what Ron Paul was saying. And that's, um, you know, also, I also encourage you guys to see that show, uh, the Ron Paul Liberty Report. Um, you know, he was saying how people, even though they may not know that they have this right, people do have a right to defend themselves physically. And that is the ultimate form of resistance. And got me to thinking, you know, you never want to be in a, involved in a situation like that. You know, I personally never want to be involved in a physical confrontation with anyone. You know, if someone is trying to take away my rights, uh, I'm not even trying to think about those things. You know, that's not something I advocate. It's not something that, that I personally desire or want to see people go through. I don't want to see that. You know, I've always believed in a peaceful means of transition uh, to transition to a more peaceful society. Uh, and, and a society that, that adheres to, to people's rights and their liberties. So that's what I want. You know, nobody ever wants to run into a situation where you're living the second American revolution. Nobody wants to live in that situation. And if you do want to live in that, I think you should reconsider your, your, your thinking because, you know, violence is not the answer, guys. We don't want that, you know, that's only uh, out of defense. So with that being said, yeah, you know, people do have that right. And, and you know, right now people are you know, to a certain extent, I think we're being courteous. You know, we're 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 going along with with the flow. We're saying, okay, you know what, you are you know trampling on our rights, but uh, we're, we're gonna wait it out. We're we're not gonna do anything. And I think that speaks volumes of the American of Americans' character too. That you know, we're not allowing ourselves to be walked over, and that's why you see protests. That's why you see people standing up and defying government orders. But at the same time, nobody is rushing to to start. You know. Uh, shooting or, or, or causing any sort of harm like that. And so that's good news for us. But when it all boils down, people do have the right to defend themselves physically if a government is uh, attempting to, to steal your rights. And that's, you know, why the Second Amendment was written. You know, the Second Amendment wasn't written so that you and I could go hunting. You know, that's something that you can do, uh, but that's not what it was written. We have to remember, guys, under what conditions, under what political climate was the Second Amendment written? And that's during a time of war, after a time of oppression, after a time where uh, the American people had already fought off a uh, tyrannical government, you know. So we always have to keep in mind, guys, that the Second Amendment is there. Our right to bear arms is there to protect ourselves against a tyrannical government. And that's what Greg Anderson, this police official, was saying. 
that you know officials that uh police officers or whoever that are enforcing these uh restrictions these orders are are really walking a fine line because you, you you're you're pushing the american people and you you don't want to wake up that sleeping giant but that's exactly what could happen and that's all that uh that, that greg anderson did uh he was just warn uh, other people and, and encourage them to stand down from these harsh uh, orders and from what he says he basically um got a call from his command and he was congratulated and said hey you know basically uh told that hey you know what great great stuff we agree with you and we stand with you and that was good but uh not that long afterwards he says that he got another call from his command uh the video was going viral at this time and he was told hey look um the video is getting gaining a lot of traction you've got over 400,000 views and it's time to pull the plug on this and apparently he got orders uh, from someone else to tell greg anderson this and so Greg Anderson says that he had already taken a stance and he wasn't going to move. And so what happens is that now he has been suspended from his uh, from the police department and is probably going to end up getting fired. And I think that's unfortunate. I think it speaks volumes of what that department stands for. I'm not going to say that every department is like this, that every law enforcement official um is standing up for these restrictions and enforcing them because we've seen plenty of cases where you have sheriffs that, uh, from other departments that are, that are that are standing with the people that are upholding the constitution and are not willing to uh, enforce these laws or these orders so you know i, I don't want to say that everybody's like that unfortunately for this department though um it is like that and they are uh, standing on the right, wrong side of history. They're standing on the right, wrong side of the Constitution. They're uh, not respecting people's individual rights. And so I think that's unfortunate, Unfortunate, uh, not only for, for this gentleman here, but for everyone involved. And I think that we should be aware um, of this happening. And we should also um, hope that we can encourage our local departments, our local police departments and sheriffs to uphold the Constitution. Uh, because, you know, they're the ones that are in positions of authority, positions of, uh, of being able to enforce the law. So I feel bad for, for Greg Anderson. I do hope that this police department, uh, comes to their senses and whoever gave them that order, you know, that person or, or people can, you know, understand that, Hey, we have to stand for the constitution because government is not always right. Government is not always looking out for your best interest. So that's about it, guys. I just thought it was an interesting story. I thought it was concerning. So I, I, I felt it right to share and talk about it. If you haven't checked it out already, then I'm going to leave some links in the description box. I'll leave links to a couple videos, the original video uh, that Greg Anderson released, also a follow-up video after being suspended, and his GoFundMe page because I think that he's also got one set up so you can support him if um, if you feel uh, feel it in your heart to support this gentleman here. So uh, till then, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to this channel, guys. I'm just trying to do my part in spreading the message of liberty, and I hope that you can join me. Uh, follow Rise of Liberty on Instagram and Facebook, and be on the lookout for more, guys. I think it's important for us to actually do something and stand up for our rights because we are living in critical times in which we have to be alert, we have to be vigilant, uh, not only for ourselves and our current family, but also for our children and their children, you know, because uh, if we don't take a stand, then who will? We can't allow these tyrannical, um, you know, uh, leaders, these uh, authoritarians right here to, to, to want to trample over our rights without a fight. We need to get up and we need to voice our opinion, guys. So till then, guys, I'm out. God bless you. Have a great rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching.